All right, everyone, in today's video, we are going to be looking at who is a data analyst? How can you become a data analyst? The key important skills you need to learn if you want to become a data analyst. And finally, we are going to be looking at where can you work if you actually become a data analyst? A data analyst is someone who actually takes data like numbers and facts and helps businesses understand it. They answer business questions like why are sales changing? Which particular products people like buying best? Basically, they turn raw data into insight with helpful information for better decision making. Just imagine you have a small coffee store. You now notice that sales are always higher on weekends, but you don't know why. This is where a data analyst actually comes in. A data analyst can look at your sales data, customer behavior, and other factors to figure out what is actually driving those weekend sales. Maybe it's because you have a special offer on weekends or because people are some kind of free to shop on weekends. With this information, you can decide to extend your offers if you have one or change your business hours. Becoming a data analyst, there are some key skills and tools you would need to learn. You can start with a degree in fields like mathematics, statistics, computer science, or economics. But don't worry if your degree is in something else. Many people switch careers to become data analysts without having prior knowledge about data. Let us look at some of those particular key technical skills you need if you want to become a data analyst. You need to learn skills like Microsoft Excel, SQL, Power BI, or Tableau, Python, or R. Microsoft Excel is a basic tool where you can actually start analyzing data. You can do things like creating pivot table, charts, calculating averages, and finding trends for business using just Microsoft Excel. SQL is a language used to manage and retrieve data from databases. Think of it as a way to ask a computer to give you certain information. Power BI or Tableau. These are tools used to create visual reports. For example, you can actually make graphs and dashboards that shows important data in a way that it is easy to understand. So if we talk about Python and R, we're talking about complex data analytic tools. This particular two programming languages are some kind of used for complex data analysis which I will not advise you to actually start with. So if you want to actually start with any of those particular tools I mentioned, you can start with Microsoft Excel, SQL, Power BI, or Tableau would be a good to go when you want to become a data analyst. If you have acquired the necessary technical skills you need to work as a data analyst, it could be on Excel, Power BI, or Tableau. The next thing you have to do is to make sure you practice with projects. Start with simple projects, like analyzing sales data for small businesses or looking at website traffic for a blog. As you get better, try more complex projects, like predicting sales trend or helping businesses to analyze customer behavior. So once you're actually done doing all of this, you have gotten some couple of projects. The next thing you have to do is to make sure you build a portfolio, which is very, very important. So building a portfolio can actually help you to create a collection of your projects to show to potential employers. You can use platforms like GitHub, Novi Pro, or Maven Analytics to share your work. So after you might have gotten your portfolio ready, the next thing you have to do right now is to apply for jobs. Look at entry-level data analyst jobs or internships in your area to gain more experience. Start with small 
companies, if need be, as it can be a great place to actually learn. As a data analyst, you can actually work in any industry that actually collects data for their day-to-day -day activities because every business actually has data to analyze. You can work in retail, healthcare center, finance, technology, and others. If you get a job under retail, you are going to be analyzing sales data, customer behavior, and market trend to help stores increase sales. If you get a job under healthcare center, your activity there will be analyzing patients' data to improve treatments and hospital management. If you get employed under finance, you are going to be analyzing investment data, financial market, and customer spending to help banks and financial institutions make better business informed decision. Finally, if you get employed on that technology, you are going to be analyzing user data to improve apps, websites, and other digital products. Now that you have actually known who a data analyst is, what they do, and the kind of tools you need to learn if you want to become a data analyst, and where you can actually work as a data analyst, what is next? If you want to become a data analyst, don't fret. You do not need to actually acquire a formal education from any university or college to actually become a data analyst. All you need is just to pick a tool and start learning. It could be Excel, Power BI, Tableau, R or Python. Just be consistent. You would definitely be one of the best data analysts in no time. If you are looking forward to actually learn about data using Power BI and Microsoft Excel, check out Data Audition or Data Audition Essential. You are going to actually learn some amazing, you know, project base, you know, from those particular two channels. So see you in my next video.